Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, we went to the art gallery exhibit and met with Yusuke and Madarame, and we found out the keywords in order to enter Madarame's palace, which is a museum. So while we were standing badassly on top of this wall, I was thinking that maybe it is now time to infiltrate. Let's go. Doesn't look like there's much resistance so far, at least. I do have to say, it may be a world of distorted desires, but damn, he does really have nice architecture. Also, let's see it. Yoink! Have to remember about my third eye ability. It's been a while since I've used it. Also, I should probably try using it in the real world as well, because as well, because that is something you can do. Let's see, nothing that way. Okay. Also, have to remember that I am able to just hold the X button, which is super useful. Okay. I'll be taking you. I got a crappy portrait. Oh, I think that's one of my fav most favorite item descriptions I've ever heard of. Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. Yeah, but who's the person who crafts all those tools, cat? So, what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Well, it's either that or just idly stand around and chat, so let's do this. Quiet. Almost too quiet. And that's cliche. Almost too cliche. Hey, this! It's moving! Oh, come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check out these paintings. Alright, let's do a once over before we do any painting checking. Uh. Is there anything else I can steal? Oh yes, up there. Focus. And that looks like it. Okay. Um, which painting are we going to check? I guess this one? Hmm? Oh hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age? What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. I've got a bad feeling about these paintings. Especially the fact that they're all of people. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's go into an the next room. Okay, next room, got it. Another. This has got the name and age on the plaque. Oh, this is not good. This one's got a name and an age. Mm. I am not liking this one bit. It's somewhere. Let's see, any other priceless treasures? Okay, just one more. Hey! Hey! This doesn't make any sense. Matarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different than what was at the... Wait a sec. Damn it. Ain't this the guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was shit-talking Matarame? Natsuhiko Nakunohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. 
I mean, if I had to talk about my working theory, this is probably all of the people that he stole stuff from, and if that's the case, I have something. By God, there are a lot of people here. Wait, if this is... If this is supposed to be where people got their things stolen from... Wait! And... Oh, come on, Anne. I was trying to make a shortcut. Then, does that mean you stay here too? What? No way. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Hey. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says you stay to Kitakagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Madarame's pupils. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakahara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Stay. You stuck around because he cared for you, right? Or at least, that's what you thought he was doing. Poor guy. This seems to be some kind of pamphlet? Hmm? What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Also, do I have any keys? Or protect mask. Okay, I'll take it. And this one looks locked. Uh, we have two lock picks. Okay, I can take this. Training whip. Oh, and have I got some new equipment for you? Also, I want to see what that protect mask does. I mean, I'm guessing it protects. It's probably a no-brainer, but might as well check anyway. Let's see. Uh, accessory. I got the team glasses equipped, which I also did while, um, uh, we were in Mementos a few episodes back. And they give us some experience boost, which will help with the playthrough a lot. I'll probably keep these on for most of the time, but I'll switch to anything else if need be. Uh, protect mask. Uh, evade curse. Interesting. That's not what I was expecting. I was actually expecting defense up, but... Evade Curse is also super useful. Uh, anyway, pamphlet, pamphlet. Right here. Hmm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why did he bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Sweet, a map. God, that makes so much sense in a museum. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. It is a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. Then the two out of two's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Matarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. Well, seems like there's only one way to go. God, this is such a modern museum. I actually really like the design of this place. Also, what the hell is this? Hmm. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Spring. As in... A spring of knowledge? As in a spring of knowledge from Yungas? 
um, and pupils who gave their ideas to Madarame. I'm probably thinking too much into it, but eh, he's an artist. You're supposed to do that kind of thing. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Yeah, seems so. Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! I don't think that's entirely true, Ryuji. I think he does have a reason. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Hmm. I'm pretty sure on how I feel, but what do you all think? We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Look, Ryuji, I understand how you feel. You're a guy who acts on emotion. I get that, but honestly, this is the best call. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? Hey, it's for a good cause, Madonna. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Don't worry, we won't leave you. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamashita. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! Mm. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. Is... something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe... I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So, we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame's worth going after or not. I don't know, if I were me, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. This affects him more than any any of us. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya again after school tomorrow. Ah, oh, boy. I knew it was gonna get complicated, but damn. We're just going straight in there, aren't we? Well then. No use thinking about it now. Let's just collect our thoughts and do it all tomorrow. Uh, Yo. Hey, it's me. I, I just can't forgive Madarame, but 
what Anne said made me think. To you stay. Uh, are we just a bunch of fucks? I'm not sure about that. The guy, obviously, you know, has a different upbringing from us. But... Nah, I, I honestly don't think so. <laughs> You're right, we're helping! It ain't like he thinks, thinks it is. Pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong. Am I? Honestly, dude. I don't know. We just need to do whatever's right. Or at least... Whatever we think is right. At least for now. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I feel like I've been bothering you with too many questions. Don't tell Anne I called you, by the way. Seriously. See ya! Well, see you tomorrow. Alright, I contacted Kitagawa-kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. <laughs> Cover yourself in paint? I'm pretty sure a few music videos do that. Uh, just be yourself. You'll be fine. He said that's what he liked about you, right? That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get done a Monorame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Hey! I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. He probably changes my plans immediately just so he could get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hmm. Hey, quiet down! It's that student council president. Makoto, right? And she's talking to Mishima? Come on, man. Yikes, she got hold of Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Ah, uh, Mishima, you better not say anything that could lead to us. Please, dude. All right. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Madarame. Oh, man, I'm late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things I didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think for him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. Wait. But that's why we're going. To check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seemed different to her about you? I mean... I guess a little. Uh... You're totally right! Hmm? But I'm the same as always. Huh, well... Let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. His Gawakun seems really happy when I agree to be his model. Okay, let's Once go. he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. Is he going to be cool with us being there? I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Obviously not. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? 
We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Hey dude, you know how it is nowadays. You can't get away with just saying opposite sex. You got the quarterly sex, you got the third sex, you got the other sex. There's so many different sexes. Sorry, got heated for a second. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Is she posing as the thinker? Interesting choice. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Um, I think he's in the zone right now. Hmm. You hear her? No use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? Yeah, well, that was obviously not the time. How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What a effing pain in the ass. That's fine, you got your phone. I'll watch the guy paint. I, in all honesty, I can actually watch a guy or go do something like this for ages. I don't know, I find it interesting, okay? Perhaps I should try going outside this room. <sighs> I mean, look, if you could scope out the area, fine, just don't get caught. Hm. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And, is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock? What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. That painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Kitagawa-kun? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me! Uh, 
and you're okay with this, if you're honestly okay with it, then we'll just leave. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? I don't think you fully believe that. Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! Uh, uh, excuse me, what? What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. Dude, look, you don't have to worry about us helping out with the modeling. Trust me, just... Damn artists. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's. Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No! Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Uh, honestly, I don't know, man. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Yeah, but the one he got the best of was... I'm sorry, Anne. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? Uh... Yeah. I mean, well, no. But, hmm. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna love this, Morgana. Said it? It's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? K. 
chat. I can't tell if you're f really into this or really not into this. It's, you're sending mixed messages here. I am not. Madarame is no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke, who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Matarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Hitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Matarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? I mean... Are you not confident in your body? What? Are you saying I'm... Uh, no, I mean... That's not what this is about! I know, I'm just... Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. We must deal with Matarame, no matter what before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Taikyu building access way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Uh, sure. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? L look, uh, listen, lady, um... Uh, my good buddy, Ryuji, knows everything about art. Uh, you should ask him. Me? Yes, you. I don't know nothing. Sure you do. I mean, look how uh, hip and artistic your shirt is. Okay, I got nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. Uh, sure. I guess we should go home for today. What a interesting lady. <sighs> Whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude and then claiming to report us to the police. Hello? Oh, hey, Mishima, was not expecting you. Hey, it's me, got a minute? I have some interesting news. Is this good? Uh, is this got something to do with your talk with the student council president? Actually, someone who received the change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart. 
You're better off talking to him in person if you want the specifics. All I know is that his target is a terrible person, and that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Hmm. Nakanohara? Hmm. That's Madarame's student. I told him to approach you. See you. Good luck. I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of, of his oft... Wait. Sounds like a student of his oft himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame spe stealing his work. That's awful. And it's completely unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kisagawa kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After all, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Madarame's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. Mm. If the rumor Ryuji spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. This guy's even worse than Kamashida in some ways. Nothing left to do but sleep and get on the case. Well Starting today, our new hideout is in the walkway in Shibuya, okay? Speaking of Shibuya, did Mishima say Nakanohara would be there now too? Well, guess we're going straight over. Yo. Yo, dude. We're about to head to the hideout too. Mm hmm? Who's that? Excuse me. Hey, it's you! That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? Um... My name is Nakanohara. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. The one who posted about on... Was me on the Phantom Thieves aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a shooting uniform with a cat. Hmm. So, what do you want? They may have you may have already heard, but it's someone I wish to trigger a cha change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. Hey. Oh, you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. Oh, I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very, very, very talented man, m multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Hmm. All right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarami's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Huh? Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing the word praised under Madarami's name. <sighs> that was when I disobeyed Madarami's pleas and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at the ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. Ha! <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please make Matarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. 
What do you mean? Even now, there is still one young man remaining under Mar Mar Madorame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. Hmm. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madorame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. <laughs> Yo, Yusuke, so Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame, and do you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kisugawa-kun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Let's save Yusuke. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. <laughs> Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kizugawa kun really feels. Okay. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision... Oh, sorry, an un-unanimous uh, decision. How about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. Furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that. If I had to take a guess, probably a paint palette, maybe a painting, maybe a paintbrush, it's something art related. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior, on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Got it, ma'am. Okay. It's the first job for the Primus. So, let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. All right, mission start. Special obstacles and palaces. Occasionally you will enter, encounter palace obstacles that are impassable and require interacting with the target in the real world. You will need to leave the palace to find the obstruction, enter palaces quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the deadline. All right, so 
I think this is a good place to end it off because before we go into the palace, we actually have a few things to do in the real world. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Persona 5, we'll do just that. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that fun jazz if you liked this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.